And as Black History Month comes to an end, LSU welcomed a Tiger legend back to campus as a keynote speaker. Tiger TV reporter Kendall Duncan address, er, attended his address. Kendall. That's right. When thinking about LSU basketball in the late 80s and early 90s, many young people's first thought goes to Shaquille O'Neal. But there was another standout player during that time that made even Shaq complain about his lack of touches. Mahmoud Abdul-Rauf, formerly known as Chris Jackson, was a standout player for LSU. He set the NCAA record for points by a freshman and points per game and was also named SEC Player of the Year and First Team All-American two years in a row. But behind these statistics stands a man who faces a battle with Tourette's Syndrome. The average age of being diagnosed with Tourette's Syndrome is around nine. However, Mahmoud Abdul-Rauf was not diagnosed until after he was already a national basketball prospect. I wasn't diagnosed until going into the 11th grade with Tourette's Syndrome. So all of that time up until the 11th grade, I'm, my body is doing strange things that I can't, can't, can't explain. Abdul-Rauf also touched on the way Tourette's affects his game. And it's like Tourette's Syndrome, you play mind games. Like you, you drill it and if you mess up, it's like uh, you've messed up about three times and I'm headed this way. I have to walk back another 10 steps where I came from because I have to do that same move and whatever I did right, I have to do it level. And it may take you another 45 minutes to an hour to get to the basketball court. And so in about an hour and a half, you're, you're huffing and puffing. You're ready to go home. Look, Chris Jackson ready to go home. So now Tourette's Syndrome steps in and says, no, you can't go nowhere until you play me. This dedication to the game put immense pressure on his body. And there were mornings that I would wake up literally. I'm crying. I'm crying because I'm like, I know what I'm going to have to put my body through. And I'm, when I say I have so many near-death experiences, it's like most of every day I train because Chris Jackson going to leave, but Tourette says he can't go. However, Abdul Rauf maintains a positive outlook on life with Tourette's Syndrome. I don't think I'll be the basketball player or the person because Tourette, in particular with basketball, took to me when I myself would not have gone without it. When I wanted to quit, they said you can't quit. So I, I've learned to see the benefits in it. Um, and for, for many years, I, I said, you know, I don't look at it, and I know you use the word disability. I said, no, I don't look at it, it's a blessing. Abdul Rauf is also known for his political activism. Right now, he participates in a basketball league for retired NBA players called the Big Three. Once again, I'm Kendall Duncan, and back to you guys.